how to create max mega menu in wordpress so hello everyone so in today's video i will show you guys on how to create max mega menu in wordpress so without further ado let us begin so the first thing that we need to do is to download the max mega menu plugin or extension in your wordpress so to do that just go to your wordpress menu right here and then just go to extensions and then just go to add an extension and then after that just search up for max mega menu in the search bar right here and then after that just install max mega menu so just click on install wait for it to finish installing and then after that just activate the plugin and then there you go the plugin has now been enabled so after installing and activating mega menus you can just go to mega menus right here at the bottom and then from here you'll get access to the different kinds of settings that you can use in mega menus so as you can see over here you can edit out the menu location settings you can add menu th themes so from here you have general settings right here you can change the theme title the arrows the line height the shadows you can also edit the toolbar so from here you can edit the menu height menu background color and a lot more for mega menus you can change the panel background color the panel width, the panel border, and a lot more. For hover menus, you can change the submenu background, submenu width, submenu border, and a lot more. So feel free to edit these out. Same goes for the mobile menu. So this will customize the menu on mobile. And then if you want to add custom styles by using CSS, you can do that here as well. They also have general settings right here. And they also have tools that you can use and a lot more. So feel free to check all of these out. So now let's try adding menus to our website. So as of now, as you can see, there are still no menus on our website. So to add menus to our website, what we can do is just go back to WordPress, go to appearance right here, and then just go to menus. And then after that, what we want to do from here is to create a menu. So you can start off with the menu name. So let's just name it um, menu sample. And then from here in this area right here, you can add um, different kinds of pages or items to your menu. So I have added a few right here. So, so I've added a home, um, a home page menu this article for cats menu and a registration menu so yeah so after adding the items that you need for your menu just click on create the menu and then there you go we already created our menu so when i go to my wordpress site right here and refresh the page as you can see it, it has made a menu but i don't want it to look like that i want it to look like a drop down menu so to do that just go back to wordpress and then what you want to do from here is to just drag the menus that you want so that we can make it into a, a drop down menu so i'll just drag it here to the home to make it a sub element same also goes with this one right here i'll just drag it here and then there you go so these two right here are now acting as sub elements of this home menu so when i click on save right there and refresh the website as you can see we have now made a menu right there so as you can see the registration and article for cats are under this home menu right there and then from here once you're done creating your menu you can also edit some stuff right here with your menu so you can edit the events the effects the effects on mobile and themes right now let's try to edit some settings that we can do in mega menus so i'll just go hover on this menu right here and then i'll just click on mega menu and then from here let us change the sub menu display mode so let's make it to grid layout and as you can see this thing will be created so from here we can add different kinds of columns so let's say i'll just add a column and then i'll just move this one right there you can also add a row if you want to so yeah and then for the settings right here you can edit these settings out you can hide text hide arrows disable links and a lot more you can also add icons if you want to so feel free to customize these out so yeah so for example i'll make it look like this so i'll just exit out of here and then i'll just save this i'll go back to the website refresh the page go to the menu right there and, th and then you will see it will look like this so we will need to fix that so to fix this what we need to do is just go back to wordpress go to the mega menu and then just click on that and then after that just go to menu themes right there go to mega menu and then from here what we want to do is to edit out the panel width so to do that what we need to do is, is to just increase the size so let's say i want to increase it to 500 percent and then once you're done 
increasing the panel width size. Let us now save this. So scroll down until you see save changes right there. So just click on that. And then there you go, changes have been saved. And then when I go back to my website and then refresh the page, and then when I click on the menu, as you can see, it is now fixed and then there you go next what we can do is to edit out the internal pa panel margins so as an example i'll just set all of these to 50 and then i'll just click on save changes go back to the website refresh it and as you can see it has added some some margins to the menu right there and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah that's pretty much the basics on how to create max manga menu in wordpress